Allie Golden gets candidate about why she needs a break from today, uh, excuse me, the music industry in today's entertainment city. I'm losing my voice. But first, the Six God returns to the SNL stage. So, as you can tell, I'm from Canada, and I know what you're thinking, but no, you cannot move in with me if Trump wins. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a no-go. Drake keeping it Canadian during his Saturday Night Live hosting gig over the weekend. Welcome to Black Jeopardy. Yeah, it's actually really good to be here, dog. <laughs> What's going on with your accent there, Jared? Oh, me? Well, I'm actually Canadian. His new album just dropped, and it's fire. Jared, I got this. Who is Cardinal Official? <laughs> oh. hey, excuse me? Come on! He's a rapper. He was nominated for a Juno Award. No good rap comes from Canada, okay? Oh. What about Drake, dog? Who are these people? And he also wants you to know he's more than just a meme. Feels like I'm in a bad dream. Cause I got turned into another meme, yeah. I just wanna scream that I'm more than a meme. Drizzy also did a pretty spot on impression of Rihanna. See Drake and a me, 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 me. Plus, he set the record straight about the relationship between them after years of romance rumors. I swear we only friend, 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 friends. The Red Hot Chili Peppers were forced to cancel an LA show this weekend after lead singer Anthony Kiedis was rushed to hospital just before the band took stage due to extreme stomach pain. In an update posted on their website, the band reveals that Kiedis is suffering complications from the intestinal flu. He's expected to make a full recovery, although the band has called off another gig for tomorrow night. We know why we've got Ellie Golding on our minds. The British songstress has made the leap to bona fide pop star with her insanely catchy hits, is currently traveling the world for her delirium tour, and is covering the summer issue of Flair magazine. Hey to my Canadian fans, um, I've just wrapped up my shoot with Flair, my cover shoot, I'm really excited about it. I, I feel like Canadians have like a parallel with with British um, fans in that they're quite can be quite reserved. It's so cool that like we have those parallels. Those parallels aren't the only thing Ellie's a fan of when it comes to Canada. Oh my God, your prime minister and it's really hot and like a feminist and lovely. And I wish there were more leaders like him in the world. And while it's been a wildly successful year for the singer, the end of this world tour will be the beginning of a break for Ellie. It's really a commitment being on the road and you, you almost like put put everything else on hold, like seeing my family, seeing my friends. I still want to be involved in music, but it's been so overwhelming for me the past few years um, that I really think it's time to just kind of go away for a little bit. It's kind of a balance because, you know, I want to I be able to use my influence for good, yes. um, but then I need to keep that influence. Get the full scoop from Ellie in the summer issue of Flair on your Texture by Next Issue app now. A star-studded weekend on the French Riviera, where the Cannes Film Festival brought A-listers galore to the red carpet, including the nice guys, a.k.a. Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. Gina Davis also graced that red carpet before heading to the Women in Motion dinner, where she was reunited with Othelma and Louise co-star Susan Sarandon. Earlier in the weekend, Steven Spielberg brought the magic of the BFG to Cannes for the film's world premiere, where Blake Lively continued her festival fashion takeover, giving off major Elsa from Frozen vibes in a form-fitting blue gown that showed off her itty-bitty baby bump. As always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.